Is there a door somewhere that I missed? Oh, there is. Okay, maybe. Oh, hey, hey! <laughs> Look at this guy, he's just tiptoeing in here. What are you, some sort of villain from a 1940 black and white silent movie or something or what? You saw him, he was literally tippy-toeing. That was great. Hey everybody, welcome back to Falcon Place How to Survive 2, episode number 2. And uh, we're here in the city map itself, and hopefully you had a chance to check out episode number 1. If you have not done so yet, I would encourage you to do so, just to get a rundown of what we're doing with How to Survive 2 this time around. And if um, you guys want to see some more, let me know in that episode and also in this one, and we will continue going forward. Right now I have like a few episodes planned out in mind of recording. It, but it's just more of a kind of a, a long one-shot, we'll say. But if the support is definitely there, we will definitely go a bit forward with the series right now. As we have this guy over here, not too mad. Not too happy about me attacking him! Okay, we're playing right now in a quest level difficulty of three, because I'm apparently a really tough dude. Do you go... Excuse me. My friend. I just... No, 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 bring him down. Thank you. He's the one that we were already working on. And now let's bring his friend down. There you go, perfect. So, um, this game does give you the option of increasing the difficulty of a mission for more experience. Uh, since I apparently feel like I'm a How to Survive pro over here, I'm over here playing on a level 3 difficulty. Um, the minimum would be 1, obviously, so I'm over here a little bit ahead of myself, but I like the extra experience, and I feel, assuming, uh, I don't mess up anymore, we should be fine. You wanna come up here with me? Come up here. Get up here. He can climb, believe me, he can. <laughs> But now, I'll do that, and that's it for you, my friend. Ah, get on out of here. Yeah, get your legs in the air. Throw them up like you just don't care. Got some coins over here? Great. Alrighty, excuse me. Can't see you anymore. Stop hiding behind that brick wall. So I don't think there's anything over here. We're looking for oil for this one, because Kovac apparently is stuck in his own little shelter. And we have to get him out of there if we want to converse with that guy a little bit further. I don't think we need to heal our wounds right now, but it's probably not a bad idea to have a few extra of these bad boys just in case. Okay. And can I make my bow as well as my other question? I don't think we can because we're missing nylon thread, right? And even then when we make the bow we still have to make arrows, which we cannot make just yet. Alright, so right now we just go forward with our mission here meanwhile. So we have another walker. Oh! <laughs> and a runner. This whole combination of zombies sometimes throws you off here. Alright, so we got the uh, one strike in this guy. Now we just need the Ken Griffey swing and get on out of here, my friend. Up, 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 gone! That's my baseball impression. Not really much of a, a baseball fan, unfortunately. I can't... I, I like, um... <laughs> I just keep up with the scores. I, I just can't... For some reason, I cannot sit through a baseball game. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't know what it is. I, I guess I just don't really appreciate the, uh, the art into it, I guess. Where, you know, you have to really have a good um, understanding of the... Uh, the pitching and the baseball, the sacrifices and the steals and everything like that. I guess I understand it, but I don't know, I just can't sit through one. And you know what I can't sit through is the fact that I'm over here bleeding out, so let's do that one right here. Okay. Um, so yeah, I can't do it. Like, my thing is obvious because I'm apparently a, a, a Neanderthal. Um, football's my thing, obviously. And by football, I am talking about American football. Not, not football, I guess would be the other one. Although I'm pretty sure foot, football is more widely renowned as the actual soccer derivative that, um, you know, us Americans call it a soccer. Alrighty, so, come over here. Obviously, as you've seen, like, when I get hit in this mode, damage is a bit more higher because of the whole experience that we're actually tripling over here. So that's the only downside over here. We have to make sure that I'm not messing up with my swings. I mean, for the most part, I'm not really worried about getting overrun. It's just um, whenever I somehow miss or I just miss time the swing itself, where it could be a bit of an issue. How are you doing there, dog? <laughs> are you holding your hand out for me? I'm not gonna hold your hand. You relax yourself, Zambro. We don't even know each other that well. I fear physical ta contact with other humans. And uh, I guess in your case, probably um, former humans as well. Let's see, we get the old swing here. Boom, ski. He's down. Alrighty, chocolate bar is uh, under control. How's our hunger doing? 64. We're gonna definitely need something for our thirst soon. We have a. a are you climbing out of that? Look at this guy! It's so determined to get to me! Alrighty, my friend. <laughs> Welcome to, um, batting class with Falcon over here. Bring your ass down. Um, we have a few ways to heal our hunger issues, but the thirst issues is the one that kind of worries me here a little bit. So, we'll keep an eye out for it. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and have ourselves a little bit of a snack here, if we can. Chocolate bar, let's have that one right there. So, hunger's fine, thirst is my big concern right now. Uh, there's a place over here which I'm pretty sure we'd probably be able to find a bunch of soda cans. Which, oddly enough, seems to be like the room of a, um... Uh, uh, of a dude doesn't go out too much. Plays a lot of uh, PC games. Sounds a bit familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll have you know, game, that even though I play a lot of PC games and I might not go out as much as I'd like, 
I don't drink soda. It's just water all the time, baby, and possibly alcoholic beverages, because I'm always, you know, a drunk, raving lunatic in my own room. People be like, what's wrong in there? It's it's fine, get out of here. It's like, oh, Falcon's is drunk again. He's fighting stuff in his room, inanimate objects. It happens a little bit too often, unfortunately. And let me tell you this much right now. The inanimate objects usually win. Alrighty. Going by all the bruises in my body the night afterwards, anyway. It's like, where the hell did that come from? Oh, right. I apparently was fighting the wall again. One of these days, walls, I will win. So we're fine over here. Let's see. I, I think we might be coming up on the oil first than anything. And then we just need... There you go. Got the uh, two-for-one combo right there. Great. Now, uh, let's see. How's our map looking? Uh, I'm a dude that likes to explore everything in the map. So even if my objective is done, that's not enough for me. I gotta get the entire map cleared out. So hopefully... Um, you are not too upset about that, and by you, I'm talking about every single one of you viewers out there. I'm not trying to generalize you, obviously, but this is how I roll. Just say you. Alrighty. So, um, probably, not, let's not pick up whatever that guy had until this guy is dead. I hear Falcon. He's gonna get too overzealous. This guy's down. Great. I do love the lighting effect when you're inside of places, too. That's, um, a really plus of my book, especially at nighttime. The light effect at night looks really, really good, I gotta say. Oh! Orange juice, yeah! Alrighty, we got some OJ. OJ Simpson over here, and let's uh, move around here. Oh, hey, look at this guy. Where'd you come from? Oh, did you come? Oh, this guy came from the roof. He probably dropped down from that little second level that you're seeing up there, which is pretty cool. They can do that, and you could also parkour yourself off of that, too, in case you're being overrun, so that's a pretty neat little feature right there. Alright, so I'm just looking for any sort of drinking item that we could find. Are you, are you having fun with that um, pole right there? <laughs> Look at this guy. Uh, what are you, drunk falcon? Apparently he is. I fight walls, he fights lampposts. Oh, it seems like he had better luck with lampposts than I have with the walls, though, usually. Alrighty, that's fine. He's dead now. Let's see about grabbing something to drink here. OJ, OJ, thank you. And 99 and 99, good. So I think the OJ also restores your hunger here a little bit, so I might have probably should have checked out the stats before I drank it, but whatever. Can of corned beef. Bits and pieces of lead. That's going to be a way for us to make some bullets, I would imagine. Let's get up here. Here's some groaning, and some growling, and whatever other sounds you might want to generalize with zombies up here. Now, have an office over here. Where's my sodas at? No, you got sodas for me. Give me the sodas, man. I'll just walk all over the PC if I want to. Aluminum tube. Alright, pretty good so far. Nothing over here. Something on the ground. What is this? Bits and pieces of lead. Alrighty. That's it for up here, it does seem. I don't think I'm going to hurt myself doing this, but let me try. <laughs> oh, nylon thread! We can make our bow now. Perfect. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get that out of the way now so it's ready. Alrighty, we have a bow, and we can equip it right now if we wanted to. We just can't shoot anything out of it. But let's go into our weapons, and here is my... The silencer. This voodoo hard rock, by the way, I think this is part of a DLC thing that um, I can only use until level 5 of them, right? Hi, we have our bow over here, but we have no arrows, so for now we stick to the old baseball improv improvised bat. Let's jump it! No damage? Good. I'm pretty sure at higher um, heights you're gonna kill yourself, but at least that one I'm pretty sure is safe enough. When your survivor is equipped with ranged weapon and ammo, you can shoot your enemies. Yeah, I'm perfectly aware how to do that, Kovac, but thank you. Medicinal herbs? Cool. Alrighty, come on, my friend. It's just me and you, one-on-one, -on -one, mano to mano. And unfortunately for you, I'm gonna win the majority of those fights. You see that guy just jumped down? He just jumped down from that rafter over there. It's pretty cool. Which is uh, actually pretty cool to note because if I was just to storm in there without, you know, looking at my surroundings, you could essentially walk in here and all these guys will jump down from the rafters and basically corner you in there. How do I know? Well, you know, let's just say I've already had first-hand experience with it, and I kind of almost shit myself doing it. Literally and figuratively, too, if you're wondering. Alrighty. Be runners over here. Like how the music changes whenever there's a few zombies after me now. It's letting me know, like, shit's real now. They're jumping up into raptors now. Okay. Let's get the old swing over here. You're gonna be done one more. I'm getting a little bit overloaded here. Okay, dog, come on. It's not the time to swing behind you right now. Alright, one of them's down at least, and this guy just needs a big swing. Good. And, oh, come on, not right now! This is not the time! Let's um, drop a dressing here. Yeah, I don't think that's the game. I, I have a feeling that's my controller. It's unfortunately on the outs over here. It's been on the outs for a while now, but 
I, you know, I have history with this guy. You know, I just don't want to throw him out just like that and be like, you know what, it's over between me and you. It's almost like a relationship, you know? You just can't do it. You just become accustomed to it and you're like, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm really unhappy with this person, but I'm still accustomed to them. Let's just be miserable the rest of our lives over here because I would hate to be that guy that, you know, ends it. Is that hitting close to home to some people? It happens, man. Let me tell you, it happens. It's happened to me plenty of times. Alrighty, let's uh, move around over here. Uh, alrighty. Zambros, for the most part, are here done. I do believe we have this building to check out. And we're almost done with this map, luckily. So, uh, again, I apologize for my diligent item scavenging, but that's just how I roll. Part of an issue of being a item hoarder in games. You just gotta pick everything up. Which is, it's weird because um, when I played um, Fallout 3 for the first time, I had that issue. Um, I've had that issue for a long time now. But um, with Fallout 3, you know how there's a bunch of just inanimate objects, or not inanimate objects, but just objects that don't really do shit for you. So, oh, good God, good, 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 stop, stop. Uh, a bunch of items that don't do much for you, and I was just wandering around when I first started playing anyway, just picking everything up because I figured, oh, it has some use some, well, somewhere down the line, right? No, 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 no use for the majority of those items, and... So I was running around, running around just overburdened, just really slowly. And I was like, nope, I refuse to drop this stuff until I realized, oh, there's really no use for them. Oh, that's great. Come on, my friend. You're down as well. Great. Climb this fucking car because I can. What about it, huh? Huh? I rule this place. You, you wanna challenge me, my friend? Challenge me for the, the throne of um Zombie King here in the city map? Bring you down and turn around and bring him down. Yeah. Alrighty. The comet's really fluid enough, assuming your controller isn't an asshole. The uh, comet is relatively fluid enough, so I enjoy that much. And obviously, if you're playing like a co-op with a bunch of friends, it's even more fun because you're just running around, kicking shit. It's, it's essentially like Dead Island in that sense. Like Dead Island, it's a game that I really didn't enjoy too much by myself, but when I played with a bunch of friends, it was just like the most one of the most funs I ever had, really. Just talking shit and um, dealing with zombies and things of that nature. Alrighty, so aluminum tube. Bottle of oil. Oh, we got our, our quest. Uh, so we're done now. We could leave. But I'm pretty sure we could probably find a few more food items here. Got a steel spring, can of peas, and that's it, huh? Well, there's an upstairs still, which I'm going to check out. Oh, bottle of water hidden back here. Great. I don't think you can hide stuff from me, game. You're not going to do be as really successful at it. I check every single nook and cranny. Box of nails. All right. And I will walk all over this desktop as well. I don't care. I got no respect for PC. I say that as a prominent PC player as well. So you don't have respect for PC. What do you have respect for, Falcon? Really nothing. I don't even have respect for myself. Alrighty, so how do I get to this building on the side? Is there a door somewhere that I missed? Oh, there is. Okay, maybe. Oh, hey, hey! <laughs> Look at this guy. He's just tiptoeing in here. What are you, some sort of villain from a 1940 black and white silent movie or something or what? You saw him, he was literally tippy-toeing. That was great. <laughs> You're fighting that object, too. Yeah, this guy's uh, apparently falcon-related some kind. There you go, piece of clot. Good. I, I wonder how we're doing in the overburden, by the way. That's something I gotta worry about. Oh, you guys brought down this door. That's how you got to me. I get you. I get you. Determination, I like it. Bottle of water. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Bottle of water, yes. <laughs> more water, more food. This is the the mother load right here of items for um, our, our basic needs of survival here. Water and food. Now, I think there was another dude up here, unless he jumped down. I got a lead figurine. Not sure what that one's for just yet. Parkour and paving stone. And I think we're done. Actually, we have the little parking lot to check out, don't we? All right, we're almost done with this map, at least. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, you guys. Whoever's in this parking lot... Better get ready for a world of hurt. Who's in here? Hey, get out of that car! You don't even own that car. Oh, <laughs> oh the old swing to the other way, of course. I wonder how many small strikes it takes to bring one of these guys down. Four, huh? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, can I combo them without just having to... Can Griffey swing the entire time? You could, maybe, but when they do the fast strike, it's probably not really too... Great. Oh, luckily the end of my swing caught him. All right, we're done here. The entire map has now been cleared out. Let's make sure we have picked everything up over here. Oh, wait a minute. There's an item over here. Sorry, hoarding nature. Can't help it. Paving stone. Alrighty, we're ready to get out of here. And let's also just um, heal ourselves up here if we can. Perfect. Kovac, beam me out, Scotty. We're done. 
And we're gonna get a lot of experience for that one. Pretty good. Pretty good so far. I'm actually enjoying my choices of increasing the difficulty for more experience. Have some water over here to kind of um, soothe the old throat. Kovac, talk to me. Great. You found some. And you're still in one piece. You'll have me thinking you've already read my survival guide. I'm accustomed to it, yes, I've uh, seen it in the past. Anyway, let's fix this damn door now. You can just slide the oil into the air duct there. Thank you. I'll unlock it right away. As soon as the hatchway opens, come on in. Alrighty, Kovac time. So let me see the, the old man face to face finally. Let's get in there. Alrighty. So over here is pretty cool because um, I'm not sure if it's going to be fixed down the line, but I hope, hopefully it's not. Maybe it's just a feature, hopefully. But every time you come in here, all these items will respawn. So uh, I'm, I've been enjoying that because you could definitely just um, farm it here a little bit and acquire more of these items to make some more upgrades and more weapons and more items, blah, 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 blah. You know the routine. Kovac's going to be somewhere over there. But before we even talk to Kovac, I just, again, want to run around and pick some stuff up. How are we doing? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm an imbecile, mind you. So I'm not entirely sure when you're over... Unless, wait a minute. No, just says um, level one. I'm not sure when you're overburdened. Like when it starts affecting you. Like I feel like I am. I have a lot of stuff right now, but it's not affecting me. Not that I'm complaining, but I'd like to know when it's gonna start affecting me. Like the fact that I'm carrying so many items, and because again, if you're carrying too many items, much like most games that let you carry stuff or pick stuff up, it will overburden you. It's gonna mess with your physical performance over here. So I'm not entirely sure when that starts happening here. More importantly, I, I don't know how to tell it from the other minimal stats on the um, menu here. But I guess at some point I'll start slowing down and I'll realize I'll be like, oh, okay. Now I can't do it. Nylon thread. Here we go. Oh, aluminum. Here we yeah, machete. All right, you guys. So now I'm happy because I was waiting for this machete because now we can make our arrows so I could finally go into full range mode and get off after this bat here. So let's go into old crafting and we want to make ourselves simple arrows for both. So right now we have five sticks and we have two big pieces of wood. Um, ten arrows for sticks. Now, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to hold on to the big piece of wood because I think we're going to need that for our base to make our own um, building to defend and our own campsite. So I'm going to go with the simple arrow for bows. And I think all we really do need is maybe at least 30 for now. And I say this because um, when you shoot bow or arrows at, mon at zombies, I should say, whenever you hit them with the arrows, you can actually pick those arrows back off of their body. And if you miss... Assuming you see where the arrow lands in the um, surrounding area, you could go over there and pick it back up. So it's pretty cool. I, I really do enjoy that feature a lot. So what I'm going to go is go into inventory here, and let's go into ammunition. Arrows, come on over here. Alrighty, so let's swap over to the bow, and let's actually take this out for a spin to show you what I mean. So for instance, I'm going to try to shoot this like straight up over here, right? So how do I shoot you again? Just R2? Okay. And there you go. Simple arrow for both still hanging out, and we still have 30. So, that's going to be really important, and we did level ourselves up, didn't we? Uh, we should have some more experience because of the quest we just did, too. So, let's find out about upgrading ourselves here a little bit. We have, ooh, we have 8,800. Good God. Uh, we did level up archery experts, so that's going to be fine here for a while. Uh, cardio training could be useful for our stamina. We have, um... I could, I guess, level up the things to make me hungrier less and thirsty less as well. But we're also going to need some of the experience to level up our base. So, let me bring myself up to level 3 here first. Okay, so that's fine. Go up to level 3, and then it's going to probably open up a few other things here, too. Now we have Nimble Fingers. Gives you the ability to pick locks, which is good, but we still need the lock pick or whatever item the game's going to force me to acquire for that. Great hearing improves your ability to detect the infected around you. I still haven't picked that one up, so I'm not entirely sure how you could visibly see that in the map, or at least in the screen. Crossbow Expert, and we have Desperation. Increase the strength of your blows when your health is low. Okay, I feel I'm going to hold on to my experience until we start leveling our base here. So, for now, let's um, grab the rest of the items here and we'll talk to Kovac here pretty shortly. No items here. Kovac, don't hold on to me, dog. Your life might depend on... No items, huh? Wow. Alrighty. So, first improvements. I've already told you how dangerous it is if you don't drink or eat when you're in hostile territory. But there's something else that's at least as dangerous. Negative thinking and a lack of prospects. To guard against that, so you're feeling alright and so you can upgrade your equipment, you need a camp. 
and every camp worthy of the name has a trunk, even an ugly one. Without one, you can't store what you find here and there. So, I'll explain how to build your very own trunk. You're going to need wood, rope, and fabric. Wood and fabric you can find pretty much everywhere in the forest. Rope, on the other hand, is kind of hard to come by around here. I suggest you look for some in the swamp. There's always some lying around. Unless that old nutcase got there first and took everything. He goes wandering around the bog sometimes. Then he's not fighting with his brother. But whatever. First go and find what you need to make your trunk. And when you get back, you can make it and put it somewhere. Aye. So this is going to send me to a nighttime mission in the Louisiana swamps down here in the bayou. I don't think that was a good um, Louisiana Bayou Southern expression there, but or impression, whatever. But um, that's what we're going for the next one. But I think we're about to wrap it up here for today. So we're going to do that mission next episode, which is actually kind of a bit more difficult and nighttime rain. It's actually a really cool looking mission at the very least. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up. Leave a like to support us a lot. Stick around for the next episode and we will go forward again, as I mentioned in the first episode as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure this is going to be a series that I'm sticking to. Today I'm recording a few more episodes, maybe two more here today, but beyond maybe four episodes. I'm going to kind of see if it's something I'm going to stick around in the series or in the channel or not. But that's going to be based on your support. So if you guys want to see more beyond what I'm going to do here today, let me know. Otherwise, we will wrap it up and at least I give you a good impression of what How to Survive 2 is all about at the current build. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.